Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hi, I'm Donkey Ollie. Jesus was once asked how we should pray to God. Most people didn't know what to say, and they worried that their words might not be grand enough or important enough for God. So Jesus gave us a prayer that was to be a guideline for praying, but it is so perfect and so beautiful that it is still used 2,000 years later. We call it the Lord's Prayer. That means it is both a prayer to the Lord which is another name for God, and a prayer by the Lord, which is sometimes another name for Jesus. By the way, you may have learned the Lord's Prayer with an additional ending. That ending was not actually part of Jesus' prayer, but was added many years later. We'll cover more of this in a later lesson. Now, praying to God is sort of like writing a letter. You start with a greeting. Our Father, art in heaven. When he first heard this, my brother Jeremy was very upset. Oh, our father's in heaven? I thought he just went to Bethany for some apples. Oh, oh. It took us a while to calm him down. Mm -hmm. The first line is simply a way to start a conversation with God. Heavenly Father is yet another name for God. So another way to say it might be, Hello God, up there in heaven? Remember, as beautiful as it is, the Lord's Prayer was just meant as a guide for praying to God. You don't really have to worry if your words are good enough or grand enough, because God knows what you feel in your heart. <laughs>